Are you? Yes. Holy shit! It's me. I've returned to your stream. Oh my god, you've gotten dumber. I'm like one of your OG villains. Oh, well, let's not talk your... you up too much. <laughs> Hello? Hello! Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I, I, I never got a response to you over email. Sorry, I was looking at that, not at my Discord. Oh. Sorry, sorry, I told you I was going to just uh, message you direct. I, I didn't know you had... Yeah, I didn't know you were in the server. But yes, howdy. Oh, my bad. No. Well, here I am, I'm back. Hello! Uh, Manimal, is it? That's me. It is man a million man a million. It is a pleasure yeah, like, to talk to you. Um, so what's on your mind? So, um, basically I, uh, the debate proposition that I want to have is that the phrase trans women are women is incoherent mm -hmm. and the teaching or the validation of gender identity should be prohibited from public schools in all grades. The same way that we prohibit like the validation or teaching of religions. I mean, you know, like people can talk like about them in like, high school, you know, people will talk about different things, but as far as validating or teaching them, it should be prohibited because right. the phrase trans women or women is incoherent. How is it incoherent? Well, I mean, you tell me how it is coherent. Basically, it's incoherent until we can answer the two questions. What is the criteria to be a trans woman? And what concept does the word woman refer to? Until well, it then, really, I don't. It really depends on uh, on who you ask. Trans women or women is a prescriptive statement, fundamentally, because we're talking about inclusion in social categories, right? So we're not talking about like molecular structures here. You know, any statement like "What is a woman? Right. What is a trans woman?" These are going to involve inferences and interpretations. Obviously, an argument is to be made, but the statement is coherent. The idea that a trans person, well, what, okay, who identifies as a woman, so I, I'm, mm -hmm. is therefore a woman. That trans is just an adjective qualifier. It doesn't make one not a woman. It just makes one a trans woman. Right, but it's not going to make sense until we can say what concept the word woman refers to. What you know about what I mean? it doesn't make sense to you? Well, what is a woman? You know what I mean? Like, if we're going to say trans woman, if we're going to say X is, is A, right? We have to say what's the criteria for X and what, what are we saying that they are, right? But we, we refer to the existence women of women all the time anyway, women. don't we? Right, but when we, when we talk about women, like in the context of like women's history uh -huh. or women's rights what concept does the word woman refer to in those in those contexts i don't know what does it refer to you know you don't know what we're talking about when people say like women's history what is the concept people are trying to think about i know what or people like, talk about when they say trans women but i think that that concept is equally ill-defined when you refer to it in any context hold on so this is this is pretty simple okay so if I want to learn about, like, female humans in history, uh -huh. do I have a word for that? What word would I use? If I want to learn about human females in history, Women's what history. word would I use? Okay, so women is the word that I would use if I want to talk about human females. Uh, not necessarily. You could use it to talk well, about quite said, a few things. Okay, so when I'm talking about women's history... What is woman? What am I talking about? Well, I'm at, you're you're the one saying it. What do you what do you, what are you talking about? Well, okay, so a woman it could it could either be three things, right? It it could be a word that we use to distinguish between humans of either sex, uh -huh. or it could be it could refer to you know like a sexist stereotypes around the sex. A lot of people are, are calling it gender, right? Uh -huh. Or it could just be a word that is used to self-reference something that i mean it's just that's the most incoherent option so when we would when we want to talk about the like human females right what word do we use to talk about that concept like we can all conceive of human females so what's the word we would use for that concept what is a human female like your mom is an example everyone's mom is an example of a human female uh okay i know some trans women who are moms would you include them um 
what do you what do you mean trans women who are moms? Like, As in, they're people. How are they trans women? They were they assigned women? male at birth, and they identify as a woman, and they're currently the legal parental guardian of children. Therefore, legally and semantically, they're moms. But I don't understand, like, the, also the only criteria you're saying is that they say that they're trans, and oh no, no, that they're a male who says they're trans, and then that's what a woman is. If that they're a, a person who was assigned male at birth, but they identify as a woman, then they would be a trans woman, no? If they, hold on, if they, if they are assigned male at birth, what is, what is the cr a criteria to be assigned male at birth? Well, generally it means that you're sexed as male, as in you have a, a penis sex. and testes and, you know, so on and so on. Of course, it's more complicated than that down at the more fundamental levels. So... An assignment of male at birth is based on an observation, right? Observation. So it's like you're observed, you're observed male, right? It doesn't have to be at birth, but you're like, you're, your sex is male, right? Yes, the doctors, the doctors make that, um, it's an observation they make, a categorization they assign. Well, I mean, not necessarily just doctors. Like anyone can make the observation. You don't have to be a doctor to make the observation. Of, of course, male, right? and usually in in the modern world, it's doctors. But yeah, of course, it doesn't have to be a doctor. Assigned male at birth can just refer to. Well, any I mean, I'm not even talking about birth. I'm, talking, I'm talking about at birth. Like the people who are at birth aren't really relevant to someone's life. Like I don't even know who was at my birth. Oh, well, I they're agree with that. Really, and they're not like relevant to really the situation. So I I, I just want to like understand clearly. Like you would teach this to to kids in schools. You would teach. You would say some. You would say you, some kids are, or no, you would say everyone is assigned a sex, but really what you mean is that we're all just a sex, right? It's just, it's, it's an observation. It's not an assignment, it's an observation, right? Well, human sex is a spectrum upon which we all exist. Um, I don't think there are distinct categories in that region. Generally, in a social sense, we flatten it down to sexed male and sexed female, but um, there's very much kind of an arbitrary designation. For example, with intersex people, uh, depending on, I guess you'd say how intersex they are or where they fall in that spectrum, oftentimes the doctors make a pretty arbitrary decision about what sex they quote actually are. And sometimes that involves performing right. surgery on like an infant in order to like right. have them more closely aligned with the assumed sexual categories of one side or another. Right. So in that case, so it's... You know. So you're 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 talking about intersex people as if it's like all one big like group of people. Like, I don't know of any intersex or I mean, uh, it's a DSD right or a VSD variation of sexual development. It's what, it's what they're it's about two percent of the population, I think. Quite a few people. No, no, that that's um, it's not really substantiated. It that, that is. Number, it's, I think that's the designation the, of the... The number of the true intersex, what they're calling true intersex, which is also still going to be male or female. What um, is true intersex? What do you mean by well, that? Well, if you look it up, if you look up the numbers of true intersex, it's going to be like 0.018%. What, what do you mean by true intersex? Well, something that like is designated, I guess people will designate this as a true intersex condition, but, but even those conditions, those, those particular con conditions, I guess are still classified as male or female. I'm not sure what you're saying right now contradicts okay, let me, let me what I've clear. said. If about 2% well, of the population everyone, are deemed intersex, it means they have characteristics that deviate a sufficient amount from the bimodal sexual distribution that people fit on. Mm -hmm. Do you mean people who are hermaphroditic? By true intersex, yeah. do you mean people who were born with both genitalia or parts of both? Um. Well, that's what I think would have to be included to be someone who's true, true, or considered true hermaphroditic, and I put that in quote marks. Well, I didn't say two percent of the population is hermaphroditic. I just said two percent is yeah. intersex. That's a, a that's obviously well, a much more narrow, you know. Let me let me make it more clear. Okay, so two percent of the population has what might be considered a, a DSD of some sort. That doesn't mean that they're intersex. That just means that there's some sort of you know, a, a difference of sexual development. Now, no, if you it's look it up, intersex is the category on, we're referring to here. Well, right, but it's a category that includes 40 different types, more than 40 different types of DSDs. Yes. Right, so, so if we're going to distinguish any of the DSDs from any of the other ones, we have to have a way of comprehending what each of them are.
I'm not distinguishing right? between so, them, though. I'm just saying that well, human sex to, is bimodal, like, not binary. And a lot of people fit within a range between them, wherever they fit on that range. So let me just make the point here. Everyone who has uh, Kleinfelter syndrome is male. Male, uh, Klein, Kleinfelter is a, how do you is a know? disorder. Well, if you look it up, that's just how everyone categorizes it. If you look it up anywhere. By what category? Kleinfelter syndrome. Well, it's a category. It's a, like, the, there's a male sexual development, right? Well, what does and it mean to be male? To be male, it means to be of the sex that produces small gannies. Okay, well... There are infertile people we consider men and males, surely. Well, yeah, but that they're still of the sex that can produce. You know well, what, what, well, what does that mean? Like, they are like, a thing because they are of the group that does the thing, but then how are, how no, are they of no, that no, no, group no, no, if no. they can't do that thing? It's just like how we're a member of the human species. You don't have to even, you're like, you can be in a coma and still be a member of the human species that can do, like, that has intelligence, right? What does it mean to be a human? Species. Well, it's this, it's this specific species that has, you know, the, it's the uh, homo, you know, what's the word? The, the Latinist word, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's this species. We can point to this species. Well, what, you know what, I mean? what like, categories do we use to, to distinguish between us and others? Words like human. And, you know, we have words for every other animal to distinguish well, between all these different species. Well, that's not a scientific category. What is or isn't human? I mean, is it... Is we can, this the the point I'm trying to make like, here, the we, point I'm trying to make here, species. if species I, if species I, if I, if I may, because this can go on forever, by the way, there's no it end to this to. particular conversation. What I'm trying to point out here is that these categories are arbitrary designations that we form because they serve some level of social utility. The category yeah. of human, of man, of woman, intersex, non-intersex, cisgender, transgender are just broad, socially designated categories that we use because they help us understand the world. And in my opinion, right. and in the opinion of people who, you know, like trans people and such, we believe that these categories serve much greater utility if terms like trans women or women are coherent. The idea that being trans and a woman is just a type of woman that one might right. be. But you can believe that without having a rigorous definition of womanhood, because I don't think anyone's definition of womanhood is rigorous. Right. As I just said, so, they're arbitrary social designations. So you're, just, you're, you're calling these social designations arbitrary, or something, but, that, but really what they are is they're just concepts, right? We have the concept of humans that are female. Like, that's what words do. They're not arbitrary. We're, we actually have concepts, and each word is, some, is something to distinguish between other concepts, right? And yeah, we but new concepts, where we draw the words. line is arbitrary. Well, sometimes, sometimes. Pretty much always. Right? Like, like the difference between a lake and a pond, right? It's the difference between a large body of body, a large body of water, and a smaller body of water, right? But we're not going to confuse a like the concept of a lake with the concept of a pond. We're not going to call the pond the larger one than the lake. You hear what I'm saying? It's in we like we keep it in that because a lake is, order. is definitionally larger than a pond. Sure. That's but right. the, the, That's right. the definitional categories that we have for things like men and women aren't so clearly defined and also not okay. oppositionally. So, for instance, you are, if you hold on, so you can look at the American okay. Scientific uh, Association's definitions for like the sex male and the sex female, and you'll find that. And, and, you know, this is the ASA, right? Like, you know, these aren't like some social justice major types, but you can look at what they have to say. And it seems like a lot of the designations that we have are really just points on a broad spectrum. And a lot of these are so arbitrary that they don't even like necessarily refer to one group designation specifically. So, for example, one sex, a sex characteristic of males, for example, is height greater height of right. male humans is a distinctive sex characteristic. And of course, there are still women taller than men, but that right. doesn't mean that the height is any more arbitrary a designation than chromosomes. Maybe some the women are taller than men. Maybe have, some women have different chromosomes than what's okay. expected. The only way we can have a bimodal graph is to have two different things that we're studying, right? Where the places where it overlaps, aren't, they don't constitute a new category. It they aren't a new category. There aren't yeah, even two right. categories. It's males and no, there are. Listen, listen. We have the concept of male. Even, even if there were, even if only half of the people on Earth were males and females, we would still have the concept of males and females. The social concept. Human males and but human females. If you talk well, to on, human biology let me, let me researchers, just, yeah. I just want to point out 
human biological researchers do not, quote, only study two things, males and females. They don't think in terms of males and females. They think in terms of the thousands of genetic variations that humans experience, some of which are sexually correlated. So if you look at the way they conduct their research, they're not going to simplify things to men and women. In fact, oftentimes, they don't even talk about it in the context of those designations at all. Those are social designations laymen use to distinguish between social categories. So do you think, like, how do humans reproduce? If you were going to teach in schools, like, about human reproduction, right, let's remember, like, we're framing this debate as that that trans women are women is an incoherent phrase, and it should not be taught in public schools, right? And so that's what we're, that's how we're, that's what we're debating. So how would you teach, like, sexual reproduction or any other, like, anything else in, in the curriculum that has to do with with like women and men. Sper- well, I don't know what it has to do with women and men. I would talk about or sperm and eggs. Talk about sperm and eggs. Okay, so who has like what are sperm and eggs? What like just just demonstrate how you would teach this to children. Well, like, generally, you, like just eggs. a quick little a quick little like you know sex ed class for like middle school. You know, I don't need the whole like spiel, but yeah. Well, you know, generally, like, how, what eggs words are you use to teach sex ed. Eggs are in like the fallope tubes right and they drop or oh god I, yeah i hope i have that right yeah and they, okay. they drop okay. and there's the whole uterine line in thing where they can get okay. inseminated and okay. the sperm are, oh, are the ovaries eggs? sorry wait no the ovaries my bad and the fallopian okay. tubes where, where are where are they go ovaries? through they go they imagine fall a, through them huh? imagine you have a class of students okay huh? they're all like teenagers or even younger i don't know like right sex ed i guess is maybe seventh grade so imagine they're all asking like okay where are my ovaries? Johnny's asking, where are my ovaries? You could where are the ovaries? have an image on screen of like a cutaway of the organs inside of a body and you can point at where so they are. I, I hope you wouldn't like, I hope you wouldn't go up to a female student and like poke her belly failed. or something. Huh? Hold on. So you're saying I would point it out to her that on a female student, like the males don't have ovaries. Is no, I'm saying I hope you don't do that. I think that would be very inappropriate. Okay, but who has ovaries? The kids want to know, like... The person in the diagram who does. Who's in the diagram? Like, okay, so, so you have a diagram of a, a female reproductive anatomy. Sure. What word is, are you using for that? You could say the female reproductive anatomy, if you like. I don't know why that and, would be necessary, you're calling but you can. It female. You're calling it female, right? Well, because I just said you don't many, need to. Listen, you can listen, if you want there's to. There's so many examples. When we're looking at... Well, you're asking me questions. Anatomy. I'm answering them, but you seem frustrated with my nonchalance here. Um, I have been to a no, sex ed okay. class. I've graduated okay. my sixth grade class. And at really? no point during the point where they were showing where the ovaries and fallopian tubes are, did anyone ask, so which part of the population has all of these organs? I don't think well, that actually did, ever happened. Use, hold on. They didn't use words male or female? Um, no, they said like the female like reproductive system. But that doesn't necessarily mean that only women have it. No, I'm just asking what words you would use. You could, you're you saying could, you would use the female reproductive system. No, saying, you, you, could, you, you could, I keep answering this. You could literally just say, like, this reproductive system or people with ovaries or people with wombs. Like, that's fine. That seems inclusive okay. to me. I'm okay with that. So when, hold on. When you say people with ovaries, let's say you're, you're teaching a class. Uh-huh. You're saying, okay, class, there are people with ovaries and there are people with uh, testicles. Uh-huh. Okay. It's been no. Right. So they're saying, okay, the class is asking you who are the people with testicles like they don't know what you're talking about what is that i've been in a sex ed class i don't think anyone asked that you say people with testicles i think you show a picture of what they look like like an like an anatomy chart on like like i I guess i'm just kind of wondering like like, like, who's allude to it no you don't allude to it you show a diagram Uh, 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 like up there there's like Look here. Here are the testes and the penis and the vas deferens. Van defer the va- the vas deferens or whatever. So never would you say human females are the ones with the ovaries and you, human males are the ones with you, the testicles. You can if you want. I literally don't think you lose any information by just saying people with penises and people with wombs. I, I think that no info was lost and nobody would it's, be confused. It's circular. It's a circular thing. Like. Because no, how do I know if I have a womb wait, unless it's, you're saying that the It's not have circular. Womb. It's the only information that's necessary. You're just saying people with wombs have wombs. And I'm like, okay, well, 
Who are the people with yeah. whom? Like, well, we're trying well, to make I don't, it coherent. For I, it seems school. to me like you're imagining a problem that doesn't exist. Again, I've taken a well, sex ed class. If you listen, you if you no no no, you I, and I'm 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 directly answering you. If you have a diagram up in class and you pointed okay. it with like a, a like a like a yeah. ruler yeah. and you're like, yeah. here's the womb and the fallopian mm -hmm. tube and the ovaries and the vagina and this and the egg is here and it needs to pair with the sperm. The people in that class are getting all of the information they need at no point. I, I'm, I'm telling you this authoritatively. OK, at no point do you need to look them in the eye and go. And by the way, women are the ones with these. They. No, I didn't say. No, no. Listen, so I, listen, I'm just saying. Listen, if you want to call it the male and female reproductive systems, you're going to call you it male can. and female. You have you, to have it. You have to give it names. You don't have. Right? Wait. You don't. You are giving it names. Womb, fallopian tube, blah de blah. If you want to say male and female reproductive system, that's fine. Okay, whatever. I'm not woke policing your imaginary middle school sex ed class. Okay. I, but I don't think it's necessary to. I don't think any info is lost. But if you want to, so, sure. If I'm saying, if I'm talking to people about like people with livers, like you, you would wait. What else? Wait. What else? And then people would be like, well, who has You would livers? just like, talk about the livers. livers. You would just say livers. Right. Right. Okay. So, so, so then I'm saying people with ovaries. Like I feel like this would create confusion in a seventh grade Just say ovaries. I don't. I just. You're. Uh, you're you're never gonna get listen. me to buy this. Uh, listen, I've already said you can say male and female you're, reproductive you're system you want. I've already said. Like, I don't know why you're harping on this. Sex safety, right? What? You're teaching kids like, okay, if two females have sex, can they get pregnant? Let's like, let's pretend like one of the you kids have that. You have if said. Two females have sex. Can they get pregnant? Penis and ovaries, or penis and womb, oh. or whatever. You've given them the right. info. Okay. I don't understand what's being left out here. I'm just saying, like, what are the words you would use? You're I have, you are, mean, okay, wait, you would not we, even use I have female. explicitly answered this question, and your confusion is now starting to upset and irritate me, okay? I have I'm explicitly, I'm, I'm I have literally said, if you want, you can do the male-female reproductive system if you okay. want, but I don't think any utility is lost in simply referring to the organs. I just don't think so. You keep saying, I want to know what terms you've used. I, I have answered. You just refer to the organs. But if you want, you can ref say male, female productivism. I don't care. It's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. It's all right. I don't know what right. you want I mean, me to tell you. I've given the answer. Part of the reason why people say like, oh, you know, the trans movement doesn't like they're denying sex. Like sex isn't real because we're we're losing the ability to talk about. How, well, how am I denying sex? sex? I'm literally I'm saying talk about because sex organs. OK, OK. Sex organs, but we we can't talk about human females Listen, like, you, as an actual. You, yeah, you can. I keep saying you can if you want to. I don't know what you want to hear from me. I don't know why this is triggering you. Can we move on? What's the follow up to this? What? Where's the harm? What's the issue? What's the next step? Where? Well, the, the issue is that these words are meaningless. Like you're everything Overs? you're saying is conceding. No, no. The trans women are women. Phrase How? is meaningless. What? Is it okay? The criteria to become a trans woman is nothing. It's just saying you're trans woman. It's to be not a. It's to be someone who identifies as a woman, but not have been assigned a woman at birth. That they're a woman, right? Who is a, ma a male who says that they're a woman is a woman. So a, it's like a trans woman anyway. is a person who identifies as a woman, but was not assigned a woman at birth. Right. So there's no other criteria besides just saying it. The, well, like, you, you have to. Just you have down to. All the meaning behind the words. No, not even like, slightly. This is now? a very simple definition, and I'm not sure how you're confused by it. To be a trans woman, you have to identify right. as a woman, but not have been assigned a woman at birth. But what are they identifying as? Like I, I, a I, woman. I, know, I know what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. They're identifying as a woman, but this is a circular definition. It doesn't, let me give an example. If I said a vegan is anyone who identifies as a vegan, regardless of what they eat, what happens to our ability to talk about like vegan diets or veganism? I'm not sure if I understand the relationship between these things. Well, just any word. Let's, let's do it with any word. So you just seem to be under the impression, you, think of. you seem to be under the impression our, that I'm advocating talk, that I, wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 please, 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 please. So 
You being confused about my very simple definitions is not the same as these definitions having no meaning. A trans woman is identifying as exactly the same thing a cis woman is, a woman. Ask yourself, what is a cis woman identifying as? And you'll have the answer to, what does it mean for a trans woman to identify as a woman? It is the same thing. They're identifying as exactly the same thing. They're saying that they're a human a female. They're saying they're a female, a human no, female. They're saying they're a woman, which they identify that's as. A wom- Hold on. Wait, so do, do cis women, women not identify means. as women? I think they the do. Only, listen, the only utility to having the words man and woman is to distinguish between humans of either sex. Uh, if it's not distinguishing between really? humans of either sex, How? what is it distinguishing between? Social roles. By the way, I'm well, a gender abolitionist, so I don't want these designations at all. But as long as these designations okay. exist, yeah, we're talking about social roles. That's so what we what talk about when we say man and woman. So what's the difference between a man and woman in your language system? What they di- identify as. It's the social roles and categories what that you mean? assume. What do you mean? Okay, so like in this sentence, let me, let, me, let me give an example. Okay, some women are gender nonconforming. Right? If I say if I say some human females are gender nonconforming, that's perfectly coherent. You understand what I'm saying? Some human females are gender nonconforming. No, actually, I don't. I don't actually know what you mean by that. You don't know what I mean when I say some humans of the female sex are gender nonconforming. Is that what you mean? So some people who are assigned female at birth would be the term that I would use. Female and woman, depending on the context, are often used interchangeably. If you were to say Look, some AFAB people are gender nonconforming, then I would say, yeah, I get that. Some AFAB people? Assigned AFAB female at birth. Assigned. All right. So if they're observed female, like in life. Observed. So like a trans woman? No, if they are observed, if you can observe that they are female. Like I'm talking about trans? I'm talking about a doctor. What do you mean observed? No. If you can observe that someone is female. How, how would you do that? Um, empirically. How, wait, how, but how would you do that? How would you observe them? Empirically. You can, no, you can how, like, how, like mechanically, how time. would you observe? Like sound before birth, you can, you can observe sex. Okay. You can observe sex at any time. Uh, like, like by, I'm not talking by about like, oh, looking the, at them what naked? What do you think they are? I mean, if that's what it takes. No, right? no, not wait. Okay, There's, so, so wait, wait, hold, wait, hold on, woman, hold on, right? wait, 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 hold on. Okay, so you're just saying, like people born with pussies. I have no idea why you're doing this whole like pseudo scientific reach around with like the observed empirically. Like, just say people with vaginas. The funny thing is that you're getting on me for making these words meaningless when you're the one using unnecessarily confusing language. Like. Just like be direct. Just say people with vaginas. Like you're inter. Like you're well, so. De- wait, hold on. You're so. You're so desperate to load I'm your language with like. Female wait, female. stop. You're so desperate to load your language with like gender signifiers that you're actually making it harder to understand what you're saying, which is pretty ironic considering what you're getting no, 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 on my no. case about. No, I'm literally trying to say like when people talk about women's history, women's rights, women's health, what could the concept woman possibly be referring to? What do you think it refers to? It can only be three things. It's either distinguishing between, it's either human females, and if, if, even if it doesn't refer to that. What is that? Wait, 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 human, human, wait, human, human females. females. Yes. What do you mean by a that? female human. What do you mean by that? Like your mother, everyone's mother. I could say everyone's mother. I know trans mothers. Do you mean human. trans women? No, I mean everyone's biological birth mother is... A human female. Can okay. you conceive of human males? And it human seems. It, see again, like this is you are like, actually you the one who's it. engaging in unclear you, language. Are you allergic to saying people born with pussies? Like I, I, I'm, I'm curious. Like isn't that the most direct way I of getting what you're saying? Say, female as a concept has born. a lot of overlapping definitions, but pussy doesn't really. Like not in this hold on, context. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Female and male can be utilized throughout biology. They aren't. Right? What do you mean? In most biological mm-hmm. research done on people, they refer to the yeah, thousands I'm of characteristics. I'm talking about animals, plants, male and female. So You're talking about so hold hands, on. Cows, you're not you're not referring to human. How people reproduce. Hold on. I'm talking about biologists. You're not, you're not referring to human biological analysis then, which doesn't often concern itself yes, with like fitting things into the category. Okay, wait, buddy. I'm letting you interrupt me a lot, but you need to tone down the frustration. Let me finish responding to your points, okay? Okay. Now, 
if you actually look at research articles published by biologists who study human beings, we understand that sex and gender are pretty complicated because we're very socially developed animals. So there's a lot of nuance that we engage in there. And oftentimes we don't directly refer to broad sexual categories. We refer to the individual characteristics that humans have that are often sex correlated. It's always ever sex correlated. There are, of course, women without XX chromosomes and men without XY chromosomes. Nothing is solidly determinable. So they tend to Hold work on. in- You just used the word man and woman. What did you mean when you used the words in that in, a, in that context? You said some men are born with what like, you meant it as some people who are generally identified as cisgender men and people who are generally identified mm. as cisgender women. That, then you just undercut what you were saying. Not at all. Actually, I established what yeah. I was saying. The ambiguity well, of the terms to, it, men and women. Do you understand? I would rather I use clear, precise language. You... People who are born with penises, people who are born with vaginas. That right there is as clear okay, as we're okay. going to get if you want to talk about sex. But you're okay, right. So, there is a lot of ambiguity behind saying stuff like men and women, which is why you don't see it that often no. when you're looking at biology journals. Like, how could you think that this is something that we should be teaching to children? You don't need to, because are children, aren't, children aren't anywhere near as willfully obtuse as you. Again, in my sex ed class, these questions that you're asking... Not the questions they that the kids the male, were asking. They use the words male and female. I promise you. It, if I, you, if I said you, you could use that. I said no you could use that. no one male and female. I, I said you could use that. I don't know why you keep pretending. You, can. If you, you need to. You, you don't need to. You need to have words for concepts. You don't need to. Because the what you're teaching kids about it's, is the penis and the testes and the womb okay. and the ovaries so and the fallopian tubes and the vast How do we know diaphragms. about anyone with an intersex condition? Can you identify as having an, an intersex condition? identify as being intersex or how do we know who, anyone who has an intersex condition where's the base like people who fall do? within an arbitrarily designated deviance of the no. expected association between no. correlated sex-based characteristics that's how no, you determine you if a person's arbitrary intersex. no listen we can say uh, client filters is different than turner wait what's the difference between client filters and turner syndrome can you say anything about it i'm sorry or are you ignorant about it wait um uh, Wait, what does this have to do with the perceived arbitrariety? If you look up the definition, it is literally arbitrary. There's an arbitrary it's threshold arbitrary. where we decide. Is a person, no. wait, okay, the you're revealing, you wait, you're revealing, wait, hold on. You're revealing some listen. scientific ignorance right now, but let me correct you oh, before really? you embarrass you yourself, so? okay? Go so ahead. if you look at the definition for intersex, all it talks about is characteristics that one has which deviate from the uh, bimodal distributions assumed norms in the archetypal male and female distributions. So in a sense, oh. one could be considered intersex even if they don't have any of the established chromosomal abnormalities, but say they have, let's say they're assigned male at birth, but they are very short and they have, you know, a number of characteristics typically associated physically with people who are assigned female at birth. That can like be a what? criteria for inter smoother skin, narrower shoulders, wider smoother. hips. Uh, no. You know, different facial structure. You can be all that and still be an X, Y, you know, cis male. But so intersex. What you have just done is totally broaden this the category. Of no, no, I, I'm not. Wait, hold on. I'm not broadening it. I'm telling you what the scientific category is. Oh, the scientific community has rejected the term intersex and replaced it with DSD. Intersex has been outdated, just like hermaphrodite was outdated. All intersex. All of like intersex. male and female being one person are ancient okay and we modern science has debunked the idea you, that there are male they and have female. they have not uh, I mean, you're talking about male, two female. overlapping no male female you name you, one category listen Bob, we are talking about wait simple. hold on wait, wait wait stop stop with the running and the running it is not mm -hmm. intersex is still a widely used term in both social not it's also community. a social term by the way social and not biological in journals. medical community not in my no they're calling them dsd they understand that okay. each like, the more we learn about each DSD, the more we're learning, oh, yes, this is a male. This is a, a difference in male sexual development. You, this is a, this I, is a female I'm sexual I'm terribly sorry to disappoint I, you, but you genuinely, one, you, listen, you don't understand. Find, all you have to do to disprove what I'm saying is very simple. Find one DSD that is considered by experts in any journal to be both male and female. Just find one. What? You Wait, that's not what I'm. Web high and low. Wait, and each one. Each, you don't understand. Each, each you... DSD is categorized as what? either male or female. Wait, 
What are you? Every one of them. What are you arguing against? Filters. Wait, okay, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, I'm really letting, I'm being far more permissive with you than I would normally because you're embarrassing yourself a bit and I don't mind it, but I don't want you to talk too much. You seem to not understand what I'm talking about. Would you like some help? Sure. I mean, I'm, I'm wanting you to explain okay. it. Yes. You seem to be under the impression that categorizing certain characteristics as being a male or female aligned intersex trait means that the concept of intersex is outdated or unvalidated. There are a number of overlapping medical and social terms that refer to these sorts of things. Um, that doesn't mean the term intersex is outdated. It's categorically not, okay? You seem to think that what I'm saying is that all intersex associated conditions are sex neutral. At no point have I said that. What I did say, okay. and this is objectively correct, is that the threshold for which we determine when one is intersex is arbitrarily designated. So what I mean by that is, it's a little bit like the tism. Autism, you know? People are diagnosed okay, yeah. with autism based on their adherence to a number of conditions, their ability to, you know, uh, designate certain traits. Um, but the traits that autistic people exhibit are just exaggerated versions of traits that many non-autistic people exa you right. know, exhibit. There's not really right. a hard objective line. It's kind of up to individual determination. The right. same is the case so for many intersex associated characteristics. That arbitrariety is what I'm referring to. Okay, so I hear what you're saying. Now, let's, let's use autism as an example. If autism, like the actual diagnosis, rather than a diagnosis that people could, uh, you know, actually, you know, have a criteria that people would have to feel to be, be, to be called I, uh, autistic. What if we just said an autist, autism is just anyone who identifies as autistic? What would happen? Here's a genuine question. What would happen to our ability to talk about or learn about like autism as an actual thing? What? I'm not encouraging people to just arbitrarily identify as intersex. Right. What, right. What, what is the so allegory we're establishing so here? So, it's, so you can admit it's very important for us to have a criteria for what is autistic. What? The criteria is learn about autism. So in order to learn about autism, wait, we need a criteria for what who is autistic. The autism right? we're talking about is analogous to intersex. I'm not talking about self-identifying as category. intersex. Wait, or not all categories. Male. <laughs> not all categories are the same. Wait, do you think that because I believe that gender is a matter of self-identification, that I think all categories are a matter of self-identification? Like whether well, or not no, something is a Formula One car or a bicycle like is up to self-identification. Well, do you have any other example of words that work like that? Because you're saying that you're kind of alluding to the fact that all of these categories are arbitrary. So, like, what other words operate like gender does, where it can just be. Well, you know, defined by anyone who says that they are that. Um, a chair. You think so? Yeah. Can you define a, for me what a chair is using language that yeah. defines all chairs, encompasses all chairs, but also mm -hmm. doesn't include things that are not chairs? That's what definitions well, are, of course. They specifically refer not, no. to a thing. No, that's not what definitions are. Definitions do not. There's no. There's no rule that says a definition must include everything it is and exclude everything it is. Uh, otherwise, we could hold on. Otherwise, we couldn't have lakes, ponds, puddles, and oceans. Uh, well, you know what I mean. How well, do we have hold, those well, things? There's no. Hold, there's no fine lines between. Hold your horses, my large, friend. Don't don't water. don't preempt my argument now. I agree. Okay. So go ahead. Define chair. Okay, so you have to understand. You're Define asking me to. Chair. I'm going to tell you something. I will. You're asking me for something that does some, like, for a definition, something that does something that isn't actually a requirement for words to do. Words refer to concepts. The concept itself does not have to exclude everything that isn't. There's no rule. There's no one that's, there's no, there's no, like, force that says this. In, in the conceptual ideal, a definition does so refer. I'm going to a chair. In the conceptual ideal, a definition does describe something distinctly enough that you can concretely yes. describe how it differentiates itself from other things. So, after I all. I agree. Right. Okay. 100%. So, wait, so hold what on. is the difference so, between a man and a woman in your language system? Whether or not one identifies as one. So, there's no difference. Just, I just, just gave a difference. Whatever one says the word. <laughs> But there's no substantial difference. What is the substantial oh, difference? Oh, wait, there's no substantial... Oh, I agree, there's no substantial difference. There is a difference, In your though. language system. 
So it's no, it's, it's useless. You have a useless. Well, you've I, rendered I work am. Well, hold useless. on. I am a gender abolitionist. So yes. Okay. So yeah, let's let's get back to that. You can explain what gender abolition. Well, I want to hear what a what chair is. is. Well, hold hold on. I want to hear what a chair is. All right. It's chair refers to the concept of a piece of furniture that is, you know, typically got four legs and a backrest. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna be on this one for a while. No, we don't need to be. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need to be. So I take issue with your definition. First of all, four legs is totally arbitrary. Chairs often have more than two legs so that they stand up. But apart from that, there is no reason at all. Huh? Listen, the definition of a chair, it would be ridiculous to think that any definition has to fulfill the requirement. Really? So you're saying it would be ridiculous to form. You're saying it would be ridiculous to construct a definition of something which is so comprehensive that it completely. Hold on. Which is so comprehensive that it completely excludes any other people or sorry, people, not people, any Mm -hmm. other things um, Mm -hmm. which might not inherently, uh, you know, be a part of that definition, but nonetheless sort of semantically correlate. See, I side with the Wittgensteinian. I subscribe to the Wittgensteinian argument here where a word merely refers to the idea people have of that word. It's simply an association game. That's what I'm saying. The word refers to the concept. It's an oh. association with the concept. Oh, wait. Well, okay. So you think that a definition of something only refers, refers to, to not an intrinsic definitional quality, not a distinctive and exclusionary set of characteristics, but rather to the broad perceived social construct that people think no. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What people think of. Exactly. Oh, right. well, you'll so, never guess yeah. what I think of when I think of woman. Okay, use it in a sentence. Some women are gender nonconforming. What do you, like, I, it makes sense to me to say some human females are gender nonconforming. What, how does it make sense to you? What do some you think of when you are gender nonconforming? They would just not conform yeah. to the social expectations of being a woman. That can mean a lot okay, of things, what was but. The concept? What did I mean when I said some women are gender nonconforming? You can mean a in lot of stuff, system, but it, it, makes it makes perfect sense. sense. You, oh, in my system, it to makes me, perfect because, sense as well. How? A person it's, is a woman. Because, hold on. But they let, sort of participate in non-womanly system, behavior. Woman does not refer to human females. Yeah. So what? So substitute in your sentence. Say the sentence. I'm going to say the sentence. Mm-hmm. Some women. I'm going to substitute the word woman. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say human females instead, so you can understand what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Some human females are gender non-conforming. Okay. Um, okay. Now you say the same sentence, but substitute human females for whatever thing you think that woman means. And I'll I'll, 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 I'll I'll just listen. A woman. Some blank. Uh huh. A woman. No. Can no, be no, gender non. Don't use the word woman. Use use the use the concept that the word woman refers to. Ah. Just like the Wittgensteinian. Right? It's associating to a concept. A person who mm-hmm. identifies as a woman is gender nonconforming. <laughs> you use the word woman mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. Please use oh, like use the concept. Not the word woman, and fill in the blank. Some blank are gender nonconforming. What, why would I? Why would I have to give an explanation for a thing without using the term the thing? Because you're to. trying to prove that trans women or women is coherent. You're admitting that it's, it's not coherent. I'm, it seems what am pretty I coherent. To, what am I you seem to, weirdly no, confused. What am I supposed to conceive of? People who identify when you say as women. These words. That's a circular argument. You understand what's happening here. No, you see, I'm asking you to so, make your argument, so like make your sentence mean you're, something. You're confusing. And you're just saying these words. You're confusing circular a arguments. Vegan is anyone who's a vegan. Anyone so, who says they're vegan is vegan. No, is that, vegan is what? not a category which is defined by self-identification. Gender is. It is. Yeah, it is. Anyone no, it can isn't. identify as a vegan. Why not? Anyone can identify as one, but the definition of vegan is not a person who identifies as a vegan. So the definition of a person of, is a who vegan? is a vegan is a person who a doesn't consume. The definition of a vegan that excludes everything that's not vegan and includes everything that is vegan. A person who does not use or consume animal products. I think that actually okay, meets so, your specified so requirements. If some, so if someone accidentally gets a little fish oil in the soup and they eat it, so they're not vegan anymore? Is that what you're going to say? Uh, that would have been a non-vegan meal. If you're asking what the threshold is for no longer being a vegan, then actually, then you get into arbitrariety. How much can you deviate? No real answer to this, by the way. 
Hold on. So I agree. I agree. People can't actually be vegan. They can eat vegan. They can adhere to a vegan diet. That's much more accurate to say. People can adhere to a vegan diet, right? Because it's like the food itself can be vegan or not. It's much more easier. Like we're, we're digesting bacteria. That, these are my personal ways of understanding what, what a vegan is. And guess what? A vegan has to exclude, just the concept of veganism has to exclude certain types of food, right? It has to exclude. Every category has to exclude stuff. Otherwise, it's meaningless. Actually, I take it back. I think that veganism does come down to self-identification. Okay, so a vegan, what happens when a vegan is anyone who identifies as a vegan? What happens to our ability to talk about veganism or make sense of what vegan is? Unaffected. Nobody watching the stream right now is confused about anything that I've said except for you. Well, that's because we are, no, 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 no. Like, actually think about it. I'm thinking. If you go to a restaurant, okay, I'm going to serve you some vegan food, and uh, I'm, I'm just calling it vegan. How many is days that, does it... Here, I'll ask, I'll ask you. you think there's anyone uh, in the audience who's going to be like, oh, sure, it's vegan. He said it's vegan. I'll ask you, actually, Mr. In it. Mr. Empiricism. I mean, let me ask you. How yeah, many days yeah. must a person go without eating any animal products before you could call them a vegan? So currently, I'm eating right now. Wait, hold on. I already just I, hold said on. That. Hold, I don't hold on. Hey, I say the diet is hold vegan. on. I'm right listening. now, I'm eating carbonara right next to me. So for me, it's been about 120 seconds since I've consumed something with animal products in it. Okay. Cool. Am I a vegan right. right now? Currently, am I, I a vegan? I really answered it. I, no one can be a vegan. I don't call people vegans. They can eat a vegan diet or not. Interesting. So, so wait, yeah. hold on. So perhaps a person who is a vegan, and of course, colloquially, we do refer to it's people vegan as diet. vegans. Or, no, we, no, 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 hold, wait, hold on. Yes, people say this person's a vegan, this person's not a vegan. That is an undeniable social fact of the world. People do I'm say agreeing. and do that. Huh? I'm agreeing. Okay. I am agreeing. So perhaps whether or not a person is a vegan has a lot to do with whether or not they identify with an arbitrary, externally perceived social construct with its associated social moles, roles and mores? No. It is whether or not someone... What is a vegan diet? Eat meat. What is a vegan diet? And Wait, I haven't eaten meat in 120 meat. seconds. Okay, so a diet. You can eat a vegan meal, right? You can when, eat a vegan when, meal. When is a person... Have, You're on a diet. When is a person on a vegan diet? How many seconds do they have to be on that diet for them to say, I'm it on a vegan diet? Like, this is what I think of. When I think of someone who, who, who's on a diet, they're on a period of time of eating a certain type of food. How long? When someone says, I've been on a diet. Well, they'll tell you most of the time. I've been on a diet. Like, that's actually the, the follow-up question. Hey, I'm a vegan. How long have you been vegan? They'll tell you how long they've is that, been following so, this hold diet. Hold on. In that's your, in your world. Thing that happens. In your world, nobody says, I'm a vegan, you're a vegan, and nobody ever says, I'm on a vegan diet. What people say is, ah, I've yeah, been on a vegan true. diet for 822 yeah. minutes. Oh, well, I've been on a vegan diet for two days and six hours. Well, I've been on a vegan diet for three days, eight hours, and 17 oh, seconds. Is this, this is the world you live in? No. Like, no, that's not, like, how is it relevant? I don't understand what, even okay, what your argument is. Okay, here, let me say this. A person, someone, says, like, a person says, I'm a vegan. How do you determine if they're right or wrong? Well, I actually just understand that what they're saying is that they are on a vegan diet. Okay, and so like, they say I'm on a vegan diet. How do you determine if they're right or wrong? No one is a vegan. Their identity as a quote unquote vegan cannot be established. That way I can't say like this is what, this is what very is interesting. I have to say. It should be. Okay, good. Like what 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 is what's interesting about it? Do you have okay, any clarifying? So a questions? person comes up to you and says they're a man. How do you prove yeah. them wrong? Okay, so I have to, if I want to understand what they're saying, right? I notice your system is very confusing, by the way. It involves no, no, a no, lot no, no, of no. weird question no. asking. In my system, if a person says, I'm a man, like, okay, yeah. I'm good. Okay. No confusion here. Okay. okay, so someone with big, huge titties mm -hmm. comes up to you. Lipstick, long hair. Okay. Says, I'm a man. I'm okay. going to be like, okay, I'm going to think either this person is a trans woman or I'm going to be like, well, what do they mean by man? First, I'm, I'm going to be like, what, well, do, they what do you mean by man? Well, this is how languages work. I have to understand what they mean 
And I have to understand, like, we have to, uh, we have to both have, kind of have to have an agreement. You know what I mean? I'm, Isn't I it that interesting like, that your fault with my like, position is that it's too confusing? <laughs> I kind of saw getting out my abacus when people have like, casual conversation with me. confused with what I'm saying? I don't think anyone's confused with what I'm saying. I'm I will, I will admit, I have been baffled for a while, but I'm, I'm, I'm making a good effort. Um, okay, so, because the, the issue, we can do this forever. The issue that I'm getting at here is that it seems like when people say, I am a thing, and you really get down to the nitty gritty of it, it's always really fucking arbitrary, like every time. It, so, it, it isn't well, if it, someone says, I'm a okay, Christian, hold on. Wait, hold saying, on. Okay, they believe in Jesus or something. So, wait, right? hold on. I, they arbitrary. say, okay, so if a person says, That's if a person says, I am a Christian, how do you prove them yes. wrong? Well, you can't prove that they, what someone believes and what they don't believe, right? Okay. But if a if, person says, you, I am a oh, gamer, wow, me, how do you prove them wrong? Right. Let me let me just let me just make it clear. How do you prove them wrong? They're a gamer. How do you know if they're the point wrong? Isn't, the point isn't to prove someone wrong. The really? Point is to say, just listen to what I'm saying, please. If someone says I'm a gamer, then I can assume rightfully or right, I can assume that they play games. They like to play video games, right? Can you? I, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm I'm asking. You, isn't is, is that the information they're trying to convey? I don't know. It <laughs> seems kind of like a self identification thing, to be honest with you. Hold on. Like, I'm trying to make this really simple. If someone says a gamer, I'm going to assume that they play games, right? I'm not just going to assume that they're just someone who says they're, that they uses the word gamer so and they don't play video games. What if they don't play games? Then I don't know what they're talking about. If they say, I'm a gamer, and then I say, oh, what games do you play? And they say, um, you know, and they don't list any games, then I'll be like, that's weird. <laughs> like, What's weird about that? Games. Because they aren't a gamer. Like, think about it. Wait, how, about wait, it that's any... wait. You just did circular. How are they not a gamer? They did what? You just said, well, that's weird because they said they're a gamer, but they're not a gamer. How are they not a gamer? If they don't know anything about games, if they don't know what a gamer is, I could say I'm a gamer right now. What does you that have to do with anything? Me. Well, let's 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 just let's just uh, use your example, right? I'm a gamer. Ask me something about gaming. Like, are you just going to believe me that I'm a gamer? Yeah. Okay, I am a uh, Muslim. Like, you're just going to believe me what I'm saying. And, and then I'm going to be teaching you about Muslim Didn't stuff. Didn't you just say you can't know what's going on in a person's head? Didn't you just say that? Yeah, that's not the point, though. Like, whether or not, like, material reality isn't a belief. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like what's going on in someone's head. We're, we're trying to just what material to reality are we referring to here? We're talking about human males and human females. Like, so you're, wait, you're, you're using together, circular like logic again. No, I'm not. What uh, are you talking about, like physical biology, like what a womb is or yeah. whatever? No, I'm talking about like, so oh, there's in the world, if you go outside and you look in the world, okay, mm -hmm. you'll see so many animals. You'll see plants. You'll see um, like life, huh? right? You'll see life. You'll yeah, see they have different all... sexes. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? And you'll see, you'll, you'll, you'll see examples throughout all the species of males and females. And you'll see that all of the babies come out of the females of the species, and including humans. We have a female, like, mode. Yeah, you're, you know, you're referring... Like you're right? So, first of so all, that's not correct. Females and the males. Well, wait, first of all, this isn't correct. There are animal right. species where the opposite is true, so be careful with your language there right. second I, of all I, I, you're I'm, talking about I'm sex a general thing. who's talking, yeah, about, talking sex? about sex oh in a general so, sense like there are exceptions huh uh well who, who's talking, talking about sex the, here i'm trying to just give a general thing right so when we look at in the world we see that there are male and female, like we've we've we don't deserve things we're, we're, we're using words to categorize things so we can understand the world right oh, i'm trying to do that at least right mm -hmm. so so we see okay babies come from this particular type of human we're going to call that, we're going to give it a name so we can talk about it. Yeah, people with wombs. So what's the name? People with wombs. Yeah. Okay. Like that is the people. most correct thing you okay. could ever say. So keep in right. mind, so any other, wait, hold on. People, right? Any other, like wait, well, hold on, wait, 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 shh, shh. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop. Like that? Would that, wait. Wait, would that be good? If you keep doing this, I'm going to have to mute you, okay? Like, Jesus. Okay. I don't know if it's because you're on your phone, you can't hear me when I talk, but my God. Um, any definition other than person with a womb can only ever be less correct 
than the definition I'm giving. You are the one right now asking for loaded terminology that is less specific because it suits your political desires. I am okay, the one giving, on. the definition that I am giving is the one that is in line with every single objective, empirical, and scientific analysis of the situation. You are the one yes. insisting on narrativizing it for political purposes. So keep okay, that in mind. Know. You are being the SJW here. You want to say people with a womb, people with a womb, okay? What happens when a person with a womb gets a hysterectomy? What do we call them then? They don't have a, what, whatever, they could call it their name? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> so they cease becoming people with wombs. They can no longer give birth we don't, because we they don't no have a womb. no longer have a womb for them? What's what, the word wait, for what? That? Wait, you can wait. You can call, you what? You can call them whatever. What if you want to refer to people who can give birth? Well, then you say people. Wait, 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 stop. Okay. If you want to refer to I'm people sure. who can give birth, you say people with wombs. And if they no longer have a womb, they can't give birth anymore. So you have to find another thing to call them. You can call them by their name. If they're a man, you can call them a man. If they're a woman, you can call them a woman. Well, I don't I'm know. Not, I don't care. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about as a group. I'm talking what, about as a what, group. What group of people who have had a hysterectomies? What does that mean? Well, so over, like, about, I think it's an alarming stat. It's actually alarming. I just came across it. 50% of women over 60 have had a hysterectomy. What do we call that group of people? Is that, well, you just said women, so they're women. Yes, because women refers to human females. I just use it no, to it refer doesn't. to human females. The way I used it, I used it to refer to human so, females. So you're, again, That's using inaccurate, wait, hold on. Men. So you're, again, using inaccurate language for politically narrativizing points. Both, uh, both no, science, wait, hold on. The medical, psychological, and political institutions of the country that I live in all recognize that a person can have a womb and get a hysterectomy and be a man. You are the one using confusing yes. language. Wait, you, re you realize that this whole thing is medical you accusing- Medical communities cannot hold say on. word means. Hold they on. Don't decide what word means. Nobody decides. They've decided- so Why did you just bring that up? What did you just bring? Because we choose what words, what words, we choose what words and their definitions mean based on the utility it okay. brings us. And all relevant institutions in this case have decided that these words serve more utility when we include trans people. So you are the one using no, more confusing language. You're using, wait, you are using medically and legally inaccurate language. You want to teach this to kids? What are you, a psycho? What am I, oh, dude? You're using- how, you, the language you're using is technically, semantically, empirically incorrect. You're saying that the words have empirical meaning. Is that what you're trying to say? What, what, are, well, you're the one arguing that, that they saying, do. Wait, hold on. Are you, no, are you saying they I'm have empirical to, I'm meaning? It's a logical argument that we will always need words to refer to concepts. If we want to talk about a concept, we need a word to talk about it. You do you agree? What, yeah, we do. If we have, if we want, yes, we need a word. People assign male about. at birth. People assign female at birth. I'm sorry. Is it like too confusing for you okay. that it's multiple words chained together? Is that like too much? Would you prefer so, male sex, female sex people? It has nothing to do with gender. I really don't care what words I you just, settle on. You keep saying assigned at birth. It's irrelevant what happens at if birth. You're, if you're confused about the language, uh, that's... I'm not confused about it. I just want to... You're very want confused want about it. So no, listen, it, it, listen, if whatever word you want to use for sex, that's fine, but it has nothing to do with gender. So I don't see what this has to do with trans okay. people or teaching about right. trans people in school. Right. We're not talking about what are trans people. That's the thing. If you're going to teach. Oh, my God. You are. Wait, you're, you are confused. We've been over this. Yeah. No, because you're literally saying the only criteria to be trans is saying you're trans. So well, we can't even no, distinguish that. No, wait, hold on. How Let's do we listen. Quick, that quick memory check. Actually, like, got quick, story. quick memory check. What did I actually say being trans meant? Someone who's assigned uh, one, their sex at birth, but then they... Identify know, as a gender associated as with another sex. associated with another sex, right. So identifying is just making the declaration that you are trans. Well, right? you're making the declaration that you are the gender that you are, and you are trans right. by virtue of not being assigned how into the sex associated with that gender. How do you become the gender that you're saying you are? Like, by identifying. So there's no criteria to becoming the gender. That is the criteria. I just listed one. What is gender? You're saying like the only That's a great question. Is what is gender? That's a great question. I'm asking, asking you because you want to teach gender identity in schools. So Wait, we already teach gender identity in schools. We do? Mm-hmm. How? We've done it for literal centuries. Home ec class no. would talk about what women are expected to do. 
all the time in class, right. they're taught about the historical and social roles of men and women. They're not talking about okay. they're not oh, talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. testes and wombs. They're talking about social roles, dress codes, yeah. dress codes. It's expected that men dress this way, women dress the other. They're not checking their chromosomes for this. Hold on, it's expected of who to dress one way? Uh, men and women, the the hold genders. On. Hold on, no, 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 no. Substitute this, the, uh, the 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 concept. You you just said genders. The genders of men, men and women. Or, it's expected of the genders to be the gender. It's expected of the that? genders to engage in gendered behavior with gendered characteristics that aren't associated with their sex. I would, like. Do you live? Do you, in, do you live in the world? Are you following what and I'm honestly, talking about? Listen, you just said something that was so incoherent. You said the men are expected to follow gender rules. Uh huh. Like, how can that mean anything if man, the word man, does not refer to human males? What did I? People who You're identify as saying, men. I don't. It's like saying the basketball players, a basketball player is, is expected who, uh, to engage in the behavior player. expected of a basketball player. Yeah. Right. Even if they don't play basketball like and they've never they, played basketball. Well, no, they, they have. Because in this case, being a basketball player is being a man and we're identifying as one. So, yeah, that meets that criteria. Yes, men well, are no, expected but, to adhere to the gender roles associated with men. And women are expected to adhere to the gender roles associated with women. Who is expected? Who's the expectation on? I just said men and women. The expectation. You, this confusion you're men, imposing upon yourself like, is unnecessary, you and you're going to get a headache men. if you keep doing this. Well, it's it's kind of amazing. Okay, let's let's move on to gender abolition. You want to abolish? Well, gender, wait. Right? Well, so wait. Hold on. I, I just need to know what about that. this is confusing you because I'm upset and worried. Um, okay. So you're so fo follow along with me. Okay. Men. People we expect men, people of a gender, to be a gender. No, I said gender roles. I did not say yeah. men are expected to be men. I said men are expected to adhere to male gender roles or men's gender roles Ooh. because male can be an adjective which refer to thing men do okay. because there's a lot of linguistic ambiguity okay. here. You've almost, you've, but you realize okay. there are men who don't adhere to men's gender roles, right? Like there are femboys, for okay. example. That's pretty popular. That's in vogue these days. Okay, sure. So, so that, would be, that would be a man a who doesn't male. adhere. No, no, no. Again, you keep talking about sex right now. And well, because I want to be clear what you're saying. I'm trying to be nobody. So listen, wait, wait, hold on. I'm going to call you a retard if you do this one more time. OK, uh -huh. when I say men and women, what uh -huh. I mean is people who identify as a man or as a woman, respectively. I am not referring to sex. It is irrelevant to me. Now, you may disagree with the definition, but quit pretending you don't know what I mean when I say it. You are forcing well, can, a conflation. No, stop. 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 You are forcing a conflation. There is no confusion in my language. I am clear as a crystal, clear as the sound okay. that glass makes when you hit it against metal. You will never okay. get any inconsistency from me on this. I am referring okay. to gender, not okay. sex. So Gender. So gender. Oh, okay. The gender roles are imposed on the genders. That's what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> okay. So if we go to Afghanistan, and let's say there's, or like somewhere in the Middle East, right? Uh -uh. They, let's say a baby is born. Uh huh. They are going to uh, do some, uh, you know, female genital mutilation on it or something, right? Uh huh. How do they, or, or then they're going to force it to wear burqa? How do they determine who to do that to? I genuinely have to wonder. I, I, this is going to be very embarrassing How for you. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going gi to give. I'm going to give you. To. I'm going right. to give you a chance. Who, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Who, I'm going to give you a chance. Say, wait. They ask them. You're you're who wandering into this very confidently. Women? Okay, I'm going to give you a chance. Want to know? To walk this back, if you'd like to. Go ahead. Okay. They determine it by their sex. You retard. Yes. Okay, so that's kind of amazing because is it really? Yes, because now, now, now you've just completely conceded my point. Really? Yes. Yes, because now, now, now it makes sense. The human females are like gender is imposed on human females. That's what I'm saying. You're saying gender is imposed upon gender. I'm what? saying gender is imposed upon human females. What? And you? Yes. You understand? No, what is gender no. to you? Like, I don't even understand what you're trying to say gender is. I, I feel it's like you're actively setting up a case against yourself right now. How? I don't even know what point you're attempting to make at the moment. 
when a baby is born. So gender. How who they are imposing gender upon it based on the sex, right? Yes. So human females, gender is imposed upon human females, right? It's imposed upon everyone. But in, I mean, in, in 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 different ways. Like human females are the ones who wear burkas. The social human role. Females are the ones who yes. To and a, not everywhere gender. in the world, but in many places in the world, in, sure. the gender yeah. role, the social category of woman, is imposed upon babies that are sexed as female. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That is that exactly. is why we use the terms you know the imposed upon like it's okay. assumed for them. Yes. 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 So. It's assumed for them, meaning the baby. Meaning the baby of which sex? The female, ba- the female baby. All, all babies. Okay, but particularly the burkas. Which ones wear? Which babies wear the burkas? The female babies or the male ones? The ones that have the social role of woman imposed wow. upon them. <laughs> How did they get the social woman imposed upon them? You're almost there. You're so close. So, like I just said, either sex, like the you're, the you're role, totally the gender to, like, role the is imposed upon. First of all, babies don't wear burkas, but the social well, role and will. category of woman, the gender role, is imposed, imposed upon. upon babies which are identified as sexed female at birth. Okay, identified. How are they identified as it? Not even necessarily at birth, but throughout their lives. What? Well, how are they identified as female throughout Th- their lives? Through an arbitrary collection of physiological characteristics that are correlated with these female sex. We went over this earlier. It's kind of a spectrum. How are you? No, but no, you're calling it arbitrary. There's nothing arbitrary about the sex. I understand you're not that educated on this, but if you look up like high level biological understand. research, it is considered to be an arbitrary designation. How can reproductive? How can the reproductive system be arbitrary? It's like you're saying this is <laughs> arbitrary. Holy Danny? shit! You're like Dunning Kruger personified. Do you even yeah. fucking know what point you're working towards right now? What the fuck are you talking to, about? To make you make How sense. can the reproductive system be arbitrary? Holy shit! Thank God I didn't yeah. start my career when I had as much unearned confidence as you when I was in fucking middle really? school. Really? Well, hold on. How can the differences between the reproductive system be arbitrary? Like, Wait. Are you the inseminator? Yes. Holy shit! You're the turf guy yes. that I argued with like two years ago. Correct. The wife it guy. Me. You I were the guy who the I guy. did the rambling about the big booby, small booby woman. And all I'm saying is that there's a difference between trans women and women. Wait, there's a difference between black women and white women, but they're both women, aren't they? There's a difference between tall and short women, big booby and little booby and no booby woman, black and white woman, but they are all women all the same. It's me. I've returned to your stream. Oh my god, you've gotten dumber. I'm like one of your OG villains. Oh, let's not talk you up too much. I feel like you're confusing yourself for your own sake here. Like, nothing here that I'm saying is inconsistent. So if you take a country like Saudi Arabia, I actually don't know what roles they have, like, with gender in Saudi Arabia. Like, obviously, I know it's very oppressive for women. I don't know if there are any nuances there I'm not aware of. But, um, over in Saudi Arabia, okay... Gender okay. is a social category, it, which mm-hmm. is assigned to uh, uh, children based on their sex. And their sex okay. is determined based on an... Right, we're both saying that. Based on a designation of their biological characteristics, which adhere to, to an arbitrary degree, um, sex-correlated characteristics. The most obvious ones are genitalia, but even then there's variants because there are intersex people or hermaphroditic people. The arbitrariety is often not um, a big factor because it's a bimodal sexual distribution. Most people who are born are pretty clearly in the category sex male or sex female. Not everyone, but the fact that there's any ambiguity at all does mean it's an arbitrary designation. So nothing that I've said here is inconsistent. The roles, the expectations, the assignment, the burkas, if you want to figure on that, those are all a product of the gender roles assigned yeah. to the ascribed gender, assigned which is correlated sex. with sex. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, like, you keep on interjecting sex or gender in before you reference sex, but it's 
They are cor- concept, wait, actually. they're correlated concepts, but that doesn't mean they're the same thing. Tell me you're not that simple. I'm trying to make your point. Most people are simple. cis. Like make, most I'm people, sex and gender simple. aligns. Most people, like like 96% okay. of people or 98 or whatever are cisgender. Like, yeah, obviously sex and gender correlate overwhelmingly, but that doesn't mean they do all the time. The world's just not that simple. In our language, in our language, like when we're talking about, I'm going to go through this again, I don't know, women's history. If gender is different in all times and different spaces, right? It's different here or there. Hmm? Women's history. How can I be talking about anything other than the history of human females? Like, Because you're not. Have you ever taken a woman's history course? I mean, yeah, like not necessarily a course, but we've learned about like. Ah, well, I have. I'm a humanities major. Did you know that women's history courses will often talk about gender divergence and nonconformity in pre-modern societies? Often that includes the roles of sexed male people who lived in the roles of women as to social preferences. Wow. We actually have archaeological evidence that from pre-colonial Philippines to even like the Vikings, there have been examples of well-respected social female, like the, tr- the clothes they died with, yeah, like the female. info we had of them, the writings about them. They were women in every respect, but we see their bone structure. They were born male. And oftentimes that's directly addressed. Women's history will tell you that and this is a core component of understanding women's liberation, by the way, the category of woman is, though it has remained historically generally quite oppressive, usually a designation to the lesser class, it has always been arbitrary. The associated categories are something that have changed based on the needs and expectations of different societies. You would know this if you actually bothered to learn about women's history, but... Sadly, so you're speaking over women to make a point against trans people. Listen, if here we are in 2022, I want here I am sitting here. I want to learn about female humans oh. in history. What? Well, clearly do you use? don't. You haven't taken any of these courses. You can take them. Well, if you what want. word would I use? Or like, let's say women's rights. Why like, are you so confused? In the Middle East. Women's I'm rights. To get you to pin down on like what this word means. You keep saying you don't know. Like you asked me what Wait, gender is. What don't I know? What is gender to you? I told you, roles, expectations, and category, roles and expectations associated with the, um... Okay, so uh, what's the difference between a man and a woman, conceptually, in your your system? A a man is a person who identifies with the category of a man, and a woman is a person who identifies with the category of a woman. Circular definitions don't mean anything. What you're referring to, actually, is tautology. And that's because I believe that the category of gender is so arbitrary, so impossible to distinguish, delineate, differentiate, or fully understand that an attempt to categorically and rigidly, like, for example, I'll ask you. So this is something, this is something that you can believe without affirming the existence of trans people, that sex and gender are two different things. You can believe that. That's possible. You can be a transphobe and believe that. So if we accept If we accept the definition of gender is the roles and expectations associated with a sex. So, for example, the gender woman. Which are changing all the time. All the time. Yeah. So if we if we understand that um, the roles and expectations have an association with sex, but are not perfectly causatively linked. So correlation then. And we also understand the idea that these roles and expectations change over time. We can then look and ask, what does it mean to be not sexed female, but a woman. What does it? What does the ca- gender category, hey, roles and on. expectations of a woman? What does that mean? I ask you. Can you but tell it me? It changes all the time. No, because it changes all the time. I'm asking you. What's the unifying concept, right? That makes the word woman coherent? Like when I'm talking about women's history, like uh, women's history. What's yeah. the unifying concept? Because it's a different. You said you just said it's different in all the times and different places. There isn't so one. About Go talk, to a, women, go talk to a no, woman's historian. Women's, there's no, there isn't there's, one. Hold on. A what historian? A woman's historian. A, a woman's historian. What is, she, what is she studying? She doesn't know what women's she's studying. Women's history? She's, she's not studying human female history. Okay, so let me go back. Uh, you recognize, like, you recognize, so wait, like, hold on. It's, it's very, gender. it's very funny that you're a turf and you're literally speaking over the experts of the field of the study that you're claiming you care about when you haven't taken yeah, any fucking I'm courses on it. No, no, no. Okay. Hold on. Wait, hold on. What wait, they're saying. I'm, I'm trying to answer. What do they mean? So wait, hold on. Nobody is How confused. Can you be studying the history nobody, of 
is confused by this. Chat, I ask you, I defer to the audience, is anyone here confused by the concept of women's history or is it this guy pretending to be confused? Okay, thank you. So, do you know what a chair is? Listen, yeah. Answer. I just, we, we already went through this. It's a piece of furniture with, that typically has... Four wait, what, wait, what do you mean back. when you're referring to chair? Are you talking about benches? Are you talking about just flat rocks that have a good surface for your butt? Are you talking about benches that swing? Are you talking right. about Ferris wheels? How could a history, how could, how could an expert, how could an expert on carpenter's history ever be able to cover such a concept? It would be beyond you just, them. No, incorrect. You just used words to differentiate different concepts. You hey, said bench. You said Ferris wheel. Yeah, and I can talk you about concepts, and, and I can talk about concepts referring to women's social roles. Hey, um, what does a on, what, what does an American historian so study? American history. What is American history? When does that start? Uh, the geographical location known, like between the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, so they're covering the um, cr the Cretaceous era of the pre-continental pre-Americas. They could. Do they? What does it mean? Um, I've never met an American historian who covers that shit. Here are the dinosaurs People. that once roamed this tract of land. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding Hold me? On. What does American I'm history mean? That. My mind is melting. Well, this concept has no meaning. Wait, 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 what does American I'm, history I'm, I'm mean? Not, sir? It's sir? Sir, stop talking over the women in the American history field. What does it mean to be an American historian? I'm, to be a historian who studies the American, like the geographical location. What does that mean? Like, what does that mean? I told you. I literally told you. So the Cretaceous period? What about the asteroids that collided, which later formed the rock that later solidified when the waters cooled in the atmosphere above? It could be a part of it. If really? You watch, like if you, yes. If you're a geologist. Studying American soil. No, I didn't say geologist. Things, I said American historian. I, lo I love, by the way, how much that. you have to twist yourself into pretzels no, to try not. to not I'm sound like a fool here. I'm answer your question. You're, 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 you're getting all Oh, okay. So like find me an American historian who talks about that. Uh, here's my American history class. When do we get to the Cretaceous period? Find me one. Can you find me one? Does anyone in this field talk about that? What? What is your, I don't understand, like, what point you're trying to make. I know make. you like, don't understand you, anything. That's been a pretty no, common no. recurring point in this conversation. I just told you. If someone is studying American history, you're asking me, hold on, you're asking me like, what is an American historian? I just yeah, what is America? You. This concept means nothing now. How yeah. are we going to teach this to our children? How can we have an American history wait, studies class? Wait, what? How does it mean nothing? What do you mean? How does it, I, what does it mean? We, it means nothing. We, Your definition is so broad, no. so arbitrary, just everything. What about atoms can, that used to be a part of America that have in. moved on to other gosh, places? Gosh, gosh, we can close it in. We. We can specify what part of American history. We can say, let's study American history between 1700 and 1800. Really? It's possible yeah. to take a broad concept and use specific internal definitions to focus on things that they consider to be more important than other things? Is that if even possible? I, I thought the fact that a if term America, was broad anywhere, meant that it was meaningless. America, look, if America is anywhere I say is America, then, then, then what am I studying? If I don't America know. What's America? Is I say is America? If America is anywhere, dude, you I just say said it, that America, when talking about America, you know includes the pre-Cretaceous period. Okay, you do not get to lecture me about how I believe in self-identification, and that ruins the definition of stuff. Your definition of America is so meaningless; it probably includes the asteroid that later became America. You never asked me to. You never asked me to define America. Yeah, I did. Like, Wait, what? Okay, what does American history refer to? It could refer to anything that has happened in America in this geographical what location. What is in America? Wait, in what? What history. geographical location? The 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 tectonic plates move a couple millimeters every year. You mean like only like every yeah, second to second? Land, like you're acting like you don't understand. America is moving land. nanometers every time you America. draw breath, my friend. Wait, we how? have decided. Okay. We wait, 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 wait. We have yeah. decided. Yes, we've decided that this geographical location is called America. So we need a word for that, for this geographical location. Right. We have called so we're giving, so wait, hold on. So we're giving yes. a, word a word to a specific to a definition. Location. Okay. Okay. We're giving a word yeah. to a specific definition. Okay. To a location. Uh, well, yeah. To well, a, a designation of yeah. a location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
the concept of this location. Uh-huh. We're calling it America. Uh-huh. We can even start talking about the concept of the nations that are on America, okay. that are in Amer- part of the American okay. continent. Can American history? We can go can, keep going further. I agree. Like, can American history? To a concept. Can American history include learning a little bit? about England, because after all, English common law was how we formed our legal system. I mean, it seems relevant, right? Yeah. Can, can, can yeah. we cover that? Yes, because there is no nation on this earth that lives in a vacuum. Okay. So of course we're going to talk about other countries. Okay. So maybe okay. it's possible. And there are boundaries to each of these countries. Otherwise, we cannot talk about those countries. Yeah. I, Do you agree? Yeah. I, we're, t- we're, we're brothers. Arbitrary. We're sex brothers okay. right now. Our our gametes yeah. are touching. Okay? Listen. Okay. And we're both male, correct? Yeah, we're both male. I, I assume. Male. I don't actually Not know. assigned male. Well, I know. I've well, I was assigned so, male. I don't know. If you were assigned male. So you don't know if you're male or not. Your wife does. Okay. So, Do you know. As we were girl, saying. Is your they friend a girl or a boy? Or is she a non? Like she says, she says she's non-binary. What is uh, she? Oh, I, I'm you single. Out what your wife is? I'm single. Have you figured out what your girlfriend is? I, I'm single. Your they friend? I'm single. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying, like. I'm just what kidding. I'm gen- fucking your wife. <laughs> All right, you listen. Listen. Gender listen. American yes. studies class. Okay. Okay. Yes. Can. It seems like if you want to do a history class on American studies, American history, right? What you what you yes. do is you look through history and you think, okay, this is a really broad subject, but I have yes. an idea of like the general type of stuff I want to cover. You know, I can't yes. cover every uh-huh. molecule that was ever a part of the American continent, but I can Obviously. make decisions as an educated person to decide mm-hmm. – which parts of this are worth learning about to build a broader understanding of a subject? Right. So and maybe you draw a boundary around it, right? You say I'm going to contain what I'm studying to America and a certain time period. You're well, not going to just be it's arbitrary, and America is just any. Well, no, hold on. There, it there is. Wait, hold on. It is arbitrary. We're making decisions about what we think is worth including in the class, but those aren't right. like we can't yeah, make yeah, empirical, yeah. objective it's, decisions. Well, do we start our research in 1684 or in 1292? Like, right. it's an arbitrary choice, but we're doing it well, with with a reasonable point, effort to try we, to understand we, an we, idea, right? Yeah, the right. idea of American history. We're going to center our education around American history. Yes, it's going to incorporate other things. Right? We're going to have interdisciplinary studies. We're going to maybe talk, compare to other countries and other histories. But our center, the center of what we're learning about is a contained, like, contained. We're American yeah. history. It's not arbitrary. We've no. specified well, what America is. Well, we specified well no, no, no. Is. We haven't yeah. specified what America is. Well, no, we didn't do that. The so time we decide to start covering which countries to cover and which not to, we can cover information on England and like their common law system. But do we include information on Germany to give context on what they were like when they brought the huge immigration wave in the early 1800s? Like there's always going to be a limit. And eventually, like these decisions are arbitrary. All history is actually a form of historiography, a narrativization, which we have to make decisions about. But any fair f- historian, any honest historian will tell you like there is a lot of arbitrariety that goes into what elements of history we decide to teach in our classes that's just a necessary sure. limitation of trying to that. distill how complicated reality is down to a history right. class so if we right. can do all of that. this maybe women's study courses can be what they already are which is an understanding that the roles of women and everything associated with it because keep in mind associations on, matter the roles of women yeah, hold on. Wait, wait. Let me continue, women. please. What do you let mean? Me... What do you mean okay. by America? I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. Yeah, the, you don't. Don't. It's a geographical location. Wait, hold on. You... But the the continents are moving millimeter by millimeter every year. You have to. You have like... to stop, man. Let me finish the point, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So, having taken women's studies courses, okay, I already know how they do this. But the way they do it is they take a look at the concept of womanhood of what it means to be a woman. And a lot of this, it's not like they're talking about sex, by the way. A lot of what they're talking about is what social... About? It's not sex. Can you stop? Okay. I'm going to answer this. Okay. So it would be really weird if you went into a woman's histories course and it was all about ovaries 
um, they actually talk mostly about social yeah. roles. And the social roles don't just affect people with pussies, you know. Yeah. The, the social, social roles was... feed into a broader historical context of how women and people in general related socially. Remember, we can talk about England in a course that is about American studies. And women's study courses don't only talk about women. They often talk a yeah. lot about women, but they talk broadly about the effects women and associated concepts have on the world. And that includes learning about histories of societies with third genders. India and Native well, Americans are two societies we know of for now that have longstanding historical uh, examples of um, like essentially legally recognized third genders. So that doesn't really apply okay. to like Native American culture. And when you look in at these, of... wait, hold on. When you look okay, at these, gonna... you learn so much about women's history when you take a look at gender divergence and everything that means, because very often the concept and the structuring of gender as a whole affects everyone within it, including women. So, for example, the relationship between cis women and trans women during the second uh, uh, feminist um, second wave feminist movement or during the Stonewall. Trans women, are trans women a third gender? I, I understand that you're trying to be purposefully obtuse here. Um, I, I just want to know if it's a third I genuinely it's have to wonder about first. your well-being. Are, are we okay? Can I continue? No, you you, you can't keep feigning ignorance here. Sorry, sorry. Trans women are women, you see. That would make them the same gender as cis women. It's like but, tall women uh, and short women. Well, you remember, well, don't you? Big booby well, and little booby and no booby women. You remember my, my little speech that got millions of views it, on TikTok. It doesn't mean anything, though. I know you think meat that. Meat eating vegans, meat eating vegans. Well, wait, know, hold on. Haven't, wait, haven't, vegan. haven't most ve vegans. Wait, vegan haven't, vegan. haven't, Anyone haven't most vegans, vegan vegan. haven't but most it, vegans eaten meat? What does it mean? Haven't most vegans eaten meat? A vegan diet excludes You meat just meat said diet. vegans. You were put, you were, right. you were bullshitting earlier where you were like, well, I no. never say vegans. I only say I people who have adhered to a vegan diet for no. X length of no, time. No, 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 no. But you're lying, I of course. You say, say vegans in a broader sense. Now, anyway, I shh. Do. The I point do, is, I'm encouraging you. you. I'm encouraging you. I'm encouraging you. I'm encouraging you. I'm encouraging you. Take a woman's yeah. study course, okay? Because you can learn a hell of a lot by learning these broader associated concepts. I feel okay. like this is getting really boring, though, course. because at what this point... What am I studying? What am I studying if I'm studying a woman's study? Because you're feigning uh, ignorance of the subject to draw out the conversation longer. You're but I'm saying I've... that I'm studying a gender, right? You're studying a collection of historical concepts associated with what woman with, means. Mm -hmm. With the female sex. Uh, I'm sorry. Is it called female sex history courses? I mean, hey, like, go go up to a, go up to a feminist college professor and say, "Hey, I can't wait to learn about the history of people like you with vaginas." And wait earnestly to be decked in the face by them. You realize you're unironically, you've acted like a misogynist the entire fucking time we've been talking, right? I know it's a meme about how like turf that's women that's reduce themselves to biology, but you're a guy. Like it's so off-putting when you're adopting their talking points to exclusively refer to pussies. You're like, Jesus. Look, look, this debate is about whether or not trans women or women is incoherent. And whether or not... I think I've pretty that, clearly demonstrated that the concept is school. coherent. The statement renders the man, woman, the, the, the words of woman and right. man totally Chad, incoherent. do we agree this has gotten pretty boring? Hold on. Tell me what gender abolition is. Really quick. If, if, if you I've can. definitely gotten bored. Yeah, I agree. Gender abolitionism? No? There we go. Sorry, past a certain point, he's just not engaging anymore. I was really trying there with the uh, the American history stuff, but like after all of that, he was like, um, oh, are, are trans women a third gender? Like, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so much I can do. Yeah, at this point, he's just masturbating. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Jason here. Thank you for identifying this guy was the inseminator guy. This was the guy. I can't I can't believe they don't realize how creepy and sexist they sound. This was the guy who was saying that women should be referred to as the inseminated and men should be referred to as the inseminators. And holy sh like this uh, the all right, well, whatever. Listen, I'm just going to say this, okay? To to conclude, all right? I'm just going to say this, okay? I hope everyone watching this, even if you're not a cucked SJW trans liberator type like me or whatever, I hope you recognize that 
that guy, I don't know why I'm pointing. He's not behind me, I hope. Um, but uh, um, that guy, in his effort to try to disagree with me, was infinitely more fucking confusing than I had was ever during that convo. My definitions are pretty straightforward. The concepts are pretty easy to understand. That guy was deliberately trying to obfuscate points um, in order to make them sound more confusing than they were. And his response was shit like, because to realize that like be, being vegan is part like kind of like a self-identification thing because everyone's eating meat at some point or whatever. He's like, well, I don't call people vegan, you know? I only ever hear people say, ah, I have adhered to a vegan diet for eight minutes and 12 seconds. Like say, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not good, not good faith, not acting in good faith. 